Hey everybody, today we are going to be installing uh, Sparrow 2.0.0, a new release, onto a Windows 11 machine. So this might look kind of scary because we will be using the command line to copy and paste some commands in. Um, it shouldn't be too hard as you can just follow along. This is a brand new computer with nothing installed on it. So uh, you should be able to just follow along and get this working for yourself. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and open up sparrowwallet.com. <clears throat> Make sure you go to .com and not .net or .org. Uh, you don't want to get scanned before you even start. So let's go ahead and click the download button. And since we are installing on Windows here, let's get the Windows installer, the sparrow2.msi file. So let's get that and start the download. Now, since we want to verify that, that, this, uh, that this installer that we're downloading is legit and it's from who we think it's from, which is uh, Craig. And, uh, you know, Craig is the, um, the repo owner of this project, of the Sparrow Wallet project. So we, we basically want to make sure that uh, this installer is, in fact, from Craig. So to do that, we need uh, these two additional files, the manifest signature file and the manifest. So let's click these to download these. The manifest file contains uh, hashes of these files. So it's basically a way of saying uh, all the bits, all the ones and zeros that go together to make up this installer, they yield this specific fingerprint. And that fingerprint is located in this manifest file. This manifest file was then digitally signed by Craig and hit with his, uh, with his private key, with his private cryptographic key, and that generated this manifest signature file. So what we are going to do is we are going to get Craig's public key and we are going to make sure that he did in fact sign this manifest signature or that he did in fact sign the manifest file and yielded the manifest signature file here. So that's why we need uh, both of these files and, um, and uh, Craig's key. So um, looks like we didn't download everything. Looks like we didn't get the um, signature. So let's click the signature, make sure it downloads. Okay, so there we go. We have the manifest file the signature file, and here's a Sparrow wallet giving us a warning. So let's go ahead and uh, let's prompt to keep it um, because we're going to verify its authenticity right now with, with these files I just talked about. So luckily all the commands we need are located right here. So we're going to open a command line and this curl command is going to, uh, it's going to get Craig's key from keybase.io and it's then going to take his key and it's going to import it using the GPG tool. So let's go ahead and just copy this whole thing. Control C. And let's take it to the command, uh, the command prompt. So how I got here is I just pressed, uh, I just pressed the windows key and I just typed in CMD and then let's open the command prompt. Let's go ahead and paste the command and you'll see that it ran. If it didn't run, go ahead and press enter to run it. And you'll see that, GPG is not recognized as an internal or external command. So we don't have this GPG tool for Windows. So uh, that makes sense because this is a brand new installation of Windows. So let's go ahead and download that tool. So let's type in GPG for Win into Google. Here it is, gpg4win.org. Let's click this and begin a download. So click download. Uh, you have to click uh, donate. So let's click $0 and then we can click, click download. So to verify the authenticity of this executable that we just downloaded, so executables, right, they're, they're kind of scary to download. Um, with Windows 11, we have the user account control dialog box that basically tells us if uh, Windows recognizes uh, this publisher as verified. So this publisher sh uh, will be known as uh, G10 code GmbH um, if it's verified. So let's go ahead and um, let's get this user account dialog box open. So Let's, um, I'm going to open my downloads now. So I'm going to go to my files, go to downloads. Here's the, uh, the GPG package that we just downloaded, the executable. Let's double click it to run it. And we can see that it, it is a verified publisher with G10 code GMBH. This is exactly what we expect. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to begin the um, installation of the GPG tools. 
which will help us to uh, verify our installation of Sparrow. So I'm going to click Next. I'm going to uncheck the GPG OL, but I'm going to keep Cleopatra and I'm going to keep GPG EX and I'm going to click Next. I'm going to install in the default destination and let it do its thing. Now we may or may not need to restart our computer. Let's, let's see what it says. I think we're good. So I'm not going to run Cleopatra. I'm going to uncheck that box and I'm going to go ahead and click finish. So we now have our GPG tools installed in our computer. So we can go back and we can try this command again. But since we just installed this program, this uh, terminal here, uh, is, it doesn't know that we have this tool set, right? It's, it's too new for this, for this terminal to understand it. So let's just simply close it and let's open up another one. And let's run our command again. Just control V and it should, be, it should start running. So there we go. GPG key, Craig Raw, uh, it's been imported. Uh, mine says it's not changed because I guess I just had it imported um, during my test run, maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, but yours will say GPG key imported and it'll pretty much say the same exact thing, Craig Raw, and it'll give you this string here. So this is um, the identifier uh, for, for his public key. So what we could do is we can double check it. We can go to Craig Raw's uh, Twitter account. And there in his in his uh, bio, he has his public key printed out right there. So let's just look at it and let's just uh, verify it for ourselves that uh, that we did in fact download his key. So let's just look at the last eight: four C six seven, four B forty. Okay. Four C six seven, four B forty. So everything matches up. So now let's go back to Sparrow. And let's get the next commands we got to run. So the next commands is CD downloads and GPG verify Sparrow 2.0.0 manifest text.asc. So CD downloads is just is just uh, moving our current directory to uh, to the downloads directory, and then we're going to run the GPG command. So there we are now in the downloads folder. Now let's go ahead and begin the verification process to make sure that Craig's key did in fact sign the manifest file. So let's go ahead and um, which one is it? Close this one and paste it here and press enter. And there it is, good signature from Craig Raw. So we do know that the manifest signature file is signed by Craig and that basically proves to us that everything in here is untampered with. So the Sparrow 2.0.0.msi file should yield this hash. So let's go ahead and calculate it for ourselves. And once again, we're gonna go to Sparrow. We're gonna scroll down to the Windows section, copy the first command here, and we're gonna run it in our terminal again, wherever it's at. Where's I'm still kind of new to Windows um, here. So you got to make sure that we are in the downloads folder. So it should say users, your name, and then downloads. And then you could press uh, control V and paste the, the command here. And here's the fingerprint or the hash. It's E8434 ending in C4V7. So starting in E8434, let's check it out. E8434 ending in C4, B7. Um, ending in C4, B7. So there we go. Sparrow.2.0.0.msi is legit. So we can now go ahead and we can continue our installation by just double-clicking the Sparrow.2.0.0. We can now be sure this is a legit folder or a legit file from who we think it's from. So let's let it install. And it'll look like nothing happened, but let's close everything now. And there it is. You'll see Sparrow right there. So I don't want, uh, we also downloaded Cleopatra, so I'm going to go ahead and click that and just delete it. Just delete the shortcut and let's go ahead and open Sparrow.
there we did it so if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'd uh, I'll do my best to reach out to everyone who comments to um, to get you get you going uh, Bitcoin is for everybody so uh, let me know if you're having any troubles and I'd be happy to help you get unblocked lastly if you want to see a write-up of this um, you can head over to my website at dprogram.me open this up and I do have a write-up uh, down here uh, where is it let's go to uh, enter the blog and uh, here create your first Bitcoin wallet with Sparrow so this goes through uh, the whole thing uh, with pictures and, and stuff as well including for Windows and Mac so good luck